Welcome to Tool Screen Printing. Today what I'm showing you guys is how to clean. So it's everything about cleaning. I'm going to show you guys how to clean the machine real well. And I'm going to show you guys how to clean the floor real well. And I'm sure you guys already picked up on how to clean, you know, like other little things that I've showed you throughout the screening process. But um, this time I'm going to show you m mainly machine and floor. But first, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the mess all around, like my recyclables and other paint. I want to like clean up on the um, certain counter just so it can be clean, you know, so I can um, just clean the machine and the floor and then I'll be done. But here, here we go. I'm going to just do it and, and always make sure you wear old shoes <laughs> and old pants. You know, there's a sweater that I'll probably get half, I'll probably take it off. I'll probably change it right now real quick. But check out the cleaning techniques and don't forget to always clean. And you know, check it out. I'm not looking forward to doing this, but I have to do it because it's important. This is not the fun part, but here we go. Those of you that are wondering how my setup looks like, this one my setup is. This, this right here, this where I screen print. You see right here, I have a trash can. And then right, all the way in the bottom, right there, in the bottom spot, I have rags and pra um, practice shirts. These are mostly rags, practice shirts I have them in a different place. And then this is my white that I use a lot for bases. There's the mineral spirits um, bottle right there. In the back I have another white um, gallon of plastisol ready for more bases. I have this one for a screen unblock, but I wouldn't really recommend it having it here because you don't really want to use it indoors. But if you just need to use like a little tiny dab of spray of it, you could uh, probably handle that, but be careful with that. And right here I have, um, like, um, you see how it's like, it's like reachable, like, I could just reach across and get the tack. I have the tack, and you go spray the boards or whatnot. And then I just have um, this tape, because this, this, this tape right here, I, I use it for, um, to clean the, or to block the sides of the, all the frames. So I use it a lot, and also to align the boards. These are just some... I'll probably have a marker here sometimes because I'll write um, the name on the screen and I'll tape it on there. Or sometimes when I when I, um, I set up shirts that need printing, I name them and I put the tape on it. Um, and then this one I just got here because I had ran, ran out of this and I brought that one. But um, I have the ruler, you know, just to align stuff. And right here I would also have like some of these like spatulas, you know, just they're clean, they're ready. And right here I also have the blaster. Um, I have it here just because um, this is what works for me, but you probably want uh, my, this blaster might work for you somewhere else. And then th this is the um, this is where I put it under the shirt and I shoot the blaster on that. And then up here, um, it's all clean and I use this for t-shirts. This is where I put the clean t-shirts or what I'm working at the time. As you can see, you know, um, there's the, um, the conveyor dryer. There's other machine over there. And then this is the work area we're working on. Which the machine work we're we'll about to clean today. So, yeah. This my setup right here. And right here we have the, uh, you know, squeegees on racks. And over there I have the paints separated. And certain minerals and special specialty paints up on top water-based 
you know, just try to keep it organized. But yeah, this is my setup. If you guys have any questions, let me know, but this is what works for me and I've been printing for a good while. So next, we're gonna clean. We're gonna continue the process of cleaning. But in this process, I would suggest you guys um, use some gloves. These are latex gloves, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them on. You know, just so you don't get no chemicals on you that might be harmful. I thought th these are really that harmful. Maybe more of you inhale, inhale it or eat it. So you don't wear like a gas mask or anything, that'd be cool too, whatever, you know. But um, what we need to do first, before we start cleaning, is we need to take down these screens. I'll go ahead and take down these screens. Take down all of them. Take out the squeegee first. And take off the screen. Okay, now that, now that we have everything off the machine, we're gonna, we're gonna get this spray. I get a, a local hardware store, like I think it was like $5. I don't know you guys can read it, but it's WD Specialist Machine and Engine Degreaser Foaming Spray. So it is gonna foam up, but this I bought it, and um, actually this machine, I um, hadn't cleaned it for like over a year or two. And then um, it was all full attack, and um, actually, there was, there's some things that some dirt that didn't, and I never really got, be able, was able to get out, you know. So you gotta clean it like every. Uh, I suggest if you can every month, depending on how much you use it, but definitely clean it every year, and use one of these. Maybe you wanna use like a metal scrub, or um, just I, I'm just gonna use a rag. It's not that that uh, that much, you know, cause I'm. The other time that I used um, the the metal scratcher stuff for the other machine too because it was real dirty, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over the machine, even on the blue, everything. So if you want to do it like little by little so you won't just like um, let it, so you won't let this dry out on you. I would suggest like do it maybe like in quarters or something. So I'm going to do these, I'm going to do it in thirds. I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, that one, then that one, and that one. So I'm just spray it. I'm trying not to inhale. You don't want to inhale or eat this. You see that? You just get it all like it may look messy, but um, it's good for it, you know. And it's just like this. Just it cleans out everything, like everything, even all this, you know. Clean all that. Just like the whole machine, basically, you know. Look at that. So I'm just spraying it. Get it all in there. And one there. It's dirty over time, you know? Look at that, just get it in there. Look at that. And all that dirt is gonna like come up. All that dirt is gonna come up and you're gonna be able to clean it way easy. This actually makes it pretty fun. When you see the, the results, you know that you get. You know, let's get at the bottom right there, all that. Get all that. You gotta let it, give it a little bit of time for it to um, soak up and get it all degreased, you know? Everywhere you wanna go. 
So right here, I basically did one third of the machine. I, I got every, every little nick and cranny of the machine that I could, you know? You can already see some of it, like some of the dirt already be coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start wiping some of it down. I'm gonna use these rags I have. I do suggest you do wear a gas mask or something because this doesn't smell too pleasant either. And also like, I'm, I'm cleaning the machine first because you see all that stuff that's falling on the floor? Oh, it's all that um, is gonna help out cleaning the floor either way, you know. I don't want to struggle on the floor and then struggle on the machine. I want to struggle on the machine cleaning it and then have less struggle cleaning the floor because of all that stuff that fell. So you see, everything comes out, even the plastic soap paint, and you know, you just take your time and clean everything, you know. Just get it. Everywhere get all the dirt out You probably want to change up the rag after a while after it gets um too wet or too dirty, you know Get up all of this And actually these gloves are uh, oh, actually I thought it ripped they felt like a rip, but they're like real thin so I wouldn't be surprised if One of these little metal sides will cut it, you know So I just gotta clean it, you know That this Put the head down you know clean all this there's some of it that won't come off because um you didn't really get it too wet there you could always come back and respray it or get it the next time you know but you just definitely just want to do it, clean it because you know you gotta you gotta maintain your machine you know and it looks nicer when it's clean, like it makes you want to work more. So, just gotta get all that dirt out. All the paint. Oh, it took a little while cleaning this, but the more care you, t the more um, care you take on this, the more cleaner it's gonna get. You know. One time, I, oh, um, I had my um, coworker or AD help me out clean these. And um, he was cleaning for like a week or two. Like a, 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 this machine, it took him a week to clean. And then the, um, the other one, it took him a week to clean. But it was like almost like brand new, you know. Gotta get all this. Like, like right here, this is a quick clean down, you know, just like a rub down. That you get everything you can. No, right there, over here, all this. Look at that. You can see, you can see the dirt coming up. Okay, welcome back. I just cleaned the um, heads and the machine. So now, um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna clean the floor. Okay. So this is the floor, as you can see. It has a lot of tack. And it's real dirty, right? So we're gonna go ahead and and we're gonna put some um some stuff on it. This one I haven't tried it, but anything works. So I'm gonna use mineral spirits, and I'm gonna use this and some water, and just keep it wet. And the, the the trick the trick to it is that um. You just gotta keep it wet, whatever it's tacky. It's 
as you can see. That's not cool, you know? So what you want to do is just open this up. Okay, so I got this open right here. And supposedly this takes out glue and um, asphalt tar and latex, dry latex paint. So I gotta be careful not to get this on my gloves because these are latex. So what we're gonna do is just, oh, just flood the floor everywhere where it's tacky. And I use the whole bottle. So just let it chill there and it's gonna work. Probably add a little bit of water if you want. Um, you just spray some, some of this adhesive, but it's gonna be too hard doing it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the bottle. This bottle right here of mineral spirits. And I'm gonna just get everywhere else where I didn't wet it. Probably mix it up with the other one because the more you mix those chemicals like that, the more that they're um they're soft, you know. So so that right there, like is most of my work area, you know, it goes all the way over here. Let me put it over there too. You just go ahead and pour the rest of this and it's cool. What I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna just step on this too, cause, cause actually my my, my shoes are um, my shoes have that tack under the the sole, so now I'm just clean the shoes. But I gotta be careful, cause it's, just let it just let it soak up a little. Kind of like how we we're cleaning these boards right here. It's the same thing. Watch, just keep on cleaning these. I'm gonna spray these down this just like the other time so I'm gonna just fast forward it like the other time so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna get a broom Okay, now that I have a broom, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, just get all that off. You see how it just came off? Look at that. It's kind of like the board. It's all that fuzz. If you don't clean, if you don't mop like every every day, it, this happens. Just be careful with the everything. All you want to do is just, um, you know, get that liquid onto the, all that fuzz. You just spread it around, you know, get it on the side where you didn't flood it. Just get it all around. A circular motion, sideways, up and down. You can start seeing all the dirt and all that where it's actually coming off. So that's real important. There's some starts where it's like real thick because right here is where I stand the most. So you probably let that you probably want to let that soak up more on that side. Maybe get like the puddles where it came off easy and then just transport it right there where where it needs some, you know? And it goes all the way down here. All this off full of that attack. A little bit of attack, you know? Look at that. Let's get it all the way out. Get it under the machine, too. Get it all the way out under the machine. 
because the overspray goes all the way over there. I thought you cleaned the whole machine. And we have this. There it is. See all that? Get it all the way over there. All of this. Spray it all around. Like that. Like that. Look at that. It's all thick right here. It's where I stand the most. Look at that. Like dirt. This whole gang of dirt, you know? Look at that. Look at all this. Look at There it is. So I'm not gonna, we're gonna come through with the mop and we're gonna clean it. First, what you wanna do is um, just sweep all this to, to one spot because it's not get rid of that. All that fuzz that we got. Sweep it. Oh. Sweep it all over here. Sweep it all. All right there. All to the middle. Just use these bags and get rid of it. Get all this. Get all that. Uh, uh, more rags. And just get all that clump stuff. Just do it again, but now I'll go ahead and mop all this. Get the mop. this mopping and then sweeping again that's how it looks so that right there was how to clean your floors wash, uh, clean your machines and get ready for work and you know that's how it's done you know get clean and you know do good work take care of your machines I'll catch you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and keep it too ill. Peace.